Hello there, and welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are having a fantastic day. Now, before we get started, obviously by the title of this video, there's going to be heavy spoilers for the recent episode of The Bad Batch. And obviously by the title of this video, we're going to be talking about who is that hooded figure at the end of the episode. Now, obviously there's going to be a bunch of theories, speculations out there, theories, kind of short, you know, not really possible theories, but I am here to clarify it. And before we get started, guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button because I will be covering everything Star Wars and honestly all nerddom. So if you're into anything between Marvel, you know, video games and Star Wars, obviously make sure to hit that subscribe button. All right, let's get right into it. Now, I've, I've seen a lot of comments on my on videos and, you know, Instagram and everything and DMs and everything. And people are really, really jumping the gun to say maybe like Ahsoka. And even in my reaction, I miss the fact that Rafa even said patch him through. So that immediately deletes Ahsoka for a possibility of being the per the cloaked figure at the end of the episode. So the actually the person who is patching through this hooded figure at the end is actually R7 from the Clone Wars. In the final scene of season seven of the Clone Wars, you know, before Vader shows up, you can actually see R7 in the background. I'm gonna put a picture up of where he actually they have all these pieces together. So I, I'm assuming they put them back together and Ahsoka and you know Rex obviously maybe was with them and gave R7 to Rafa and Trace. That tells me Ahsoka for sure met with Rafa and Trace, so it's someone connected to Ahsoka, which tells me that the next theory we need to break down is Captain Rex. But I'm here to tell you guys that it's not Rex. We, it's definitely not Rex. And here's why to back up my theory. Earlier in the episode when there's fighting going on and all that stuff, Rafa actually turns to Hunter and he said, and she says something along the lines of like something clone, like a derogatory term, like, oh, you're just a clone or like something like that. And then Hunter says, you know, I'm a clone, but I'm different. And Rafa goes on to say, I've heard that before. Kind of with a negative connotation and the back end of her meeting a clone before and being, you know, screwed over which tells me she did not meet rex because rex would at least explain you know i got my chip removed and i'm a good clone and there are good clones out there so maybe rafa would have acted differently seeing clones and would have maybe you know since they're not shooting at rafa and trace immediately maybe they're different but that tells me she still has bad experiences with clones which means she hasn't had a good one in recent memory and i feel like if rex met them recently she would have you know treated the clones differently than she already did so i know rex we've seen him in the trailers that rex does show up but he's definitely not the hooded figure so that brings us to saw guerrero i've seen in you know comment sections and dms and all other places but i also don't personally think it's saw guerrero because i feel like they would have shown him they already have his model and everything so i personally think that's not their contact and who is they're giving this information to so you can kind of write off saw guerrero in my opinion and also a prediction of mine it could be bail organa that is a possibility i don't i don't personally think it is but it would make sense if it is bail organa and i would be excited to see bail organa again because i love bail organa but that is also a possibility and theory that is you know, that is probable but it is not my theory because personally to me it's i feel like it's someone associated to ahsoka and close to ahsoka but also the robes looked very jedi to me which opens up a gate of many uh possibilities of jedi to where all you you know mace windu fans out there that want mace windu to come back this is a possibility for you guys that want that me personally on the outer rim i don't really want him back but who knows at that point but this is my prediction and i feel like this is the most probable theory and the probably the most exciting theory out there I think it is Obi-Wan Kenobi, and here's why. One, I feel like Ahsoka, after uh, Season 6 of The Clone Wars, went and met with Yoda and then, you know, met with Kenobi on Tatooine, possibly. And I feel like this would be a good way to kind of explain some stuff before the Kenobi show that's going to be coming out soon, which I'm super, super duper excited about. And kind of start of the beginning of how Kenobi, you know, kind of wasn't just chilling on Tatooine watching Luke. He was very, you know, helping the early days of the Rebellion maybe or at the very least he's trying to figure out what the hell's going on which makes sense but i do believe it's uh obi-wan kenobi what do you guys think let me know in the comments below do you agree with my theory or do you not and think it's totally out there but if you enjoyed this video guys make sure to hit that like button and subscribe and as always may the force be with you